On today's edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9, we take a quick look at night one of the high bank nationals and some of the surprises that took place at Houston Speedway. Before getting into it, don't forget to click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and also check out our daily exclusive content at www.sprintcarlimited.com. At the top of the list of things we didn't expect, Ryan Timms. It wasn't as simple as Timms coming away with a top five finish. He beat Sheldon Hodenshield off the start, led a bunch of laps, diced with the World of Outlaws standout, lost the lead, and then took it back at one point during the main event. Taking things a step further, when Hodenshield finally did dispose of Tim's, the young driver didn't just free fall through the order like he has the past year and a half. He fought eventual winner Tyler Courtney for a few laps before settling for an impressive second place run when Sheldon Hodenshield blew a right rear and had to tag the rear. So why is this so surprising? Well, Tim's entered the night with one top five finish in 24 starts this season. That lone top five came at Houston's less than a week ago when he sat in victory lane. I think this is the type of finish we've been looking for from Tim's. Now, whether, whether it was a one-time thing, we'll wait and see. But this is the type of run that can turn this season around and moving forward. While Tim's was a big surprise, so were the three drivers who've been successful at Houston's in the past, and yet failed to make the main event Wednesday night. I know it's a unique format, and the pits are littered with the best sprint car drivers in the world, but I still didn't have Kyle Larson, Logan Schuhart, and James McFadden sitting at their trailers after failing to transfer to the A main. All three drivers timed decent in the top 12 of their flight, but they were off just a little bit, bit in their heat race and were forced to run the last chance showdown. McFadden placed fifth, barely missing the transfer, with Larson eighth and Logan Schuhart a disappointing tenth. These three drivers are now pinned between 25th and 31st in the point standings, with a lot of work to do Thursday to beat not only the competition, but also the weather. Good luck with all that. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9, and we'll be back Friday. Stay tuned.